Hello, I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV, and today I'm going to be showing you the Alliance Valor uh, travel trailer toy hauler, and this model is 31T13. Let's take a look at some features here. So one thing we'll notice right off the bat here is we've got a molded cap, which aesthetically makes it look nice. It's just a structurally sound cap here. Uh, this one's got a 4,000 watt Onan generator up front. And it will have a remote switch inside so that we can turn that on. That is enough to power everything inside the rig here. Also up front here we're going to find that we've got an uh, electric tongue jack. So it makes it very easy to get on and off the vehicle. Uh, then we'll have storage cubby here for your batteries, uh, which looks like it'll hold up to about two to four batteries depending on the size. Uh, also up front here on the A-frame we've got two 20-pound propane tanks. Uh, on the non-door side here, we'll see that we've got storage underneath the slide uh, this is kind of cool. This is a travel trailer toy hauler that's got three slide outs in it. So we'll see that once we get inside, but you will see cubbies underneath the front bed there. And then on back, one thing we'll notice is it's got a 30 gallon uh, fuel station there. All right, we'll also see on the entrance or the door side here, we've got an awning that'll cover basically the whole side of the trailer. You've got a front entrance door. And you'll also will have a door going into the garage area. Let's go take a peek inside. All right, as we look at the kitchen here, you'll notice you've got a lot of space here. Uh, the way we can achieve that is we've got a kitchen slide here. We've also got a living room slide here. So in the kitchen here, we're going to find a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. What I like about these is they're deep, so you can fit a lot of uh, groceries in there. And they're just nice size, they're quiet, they're easy to run here. You've got an island here with a sink. You've got drawers in a cabinet there. Uh, you've got your kitchen area, or excuse me, your oven area here with a microwave on top. Kind of hidden in the corner here, we do have a full pantry with adjustable shelving there. Uh, right next to the oven area there, we're going to have a full pantry with adjustable shelving. So kind of nice, you could uh, I suppose sneak in a garbage can there if you wanted to or just fit it to uh, your needs there. Uh, right across, right next to that we're going to find our entertainment area where again we're going to have some overhead storage. We're going to have our TV, sound bar, and then that all sits across from your couch here that does have reclining uh, seats here. So these are all ran off 12 volts so if you do a lot of that dry camping you can still recline in your uh, couch here. Um, getting back into the garage here. So in the garage here we're going to find quite a few features. Uh, one thing we're going to notice right off the bat is you've got an air conditioner here. This will come with two air conditioners. You've got two 13,500 BTU air conditioners. One dedicated to the garage area one for the bedroom and living area. Uh, we also find that we've got what they call the Happy Jack bed. The way this works is you've got a queen bed on top and you've got a, uh, a dinette on the bottom and that all goes up by a 12 volt motor here. So you'll see it kind of going up and down here. And what's nice is you had a, all kinds of space underneath there to fit uh, a side by side, uh, possibly a golf cart, Bicycles, kayaks, you know, whatever you want to put in here. All right, as we look back, we've got the rear patio set up. This has got the rear patio option. Uh, this will double as a ramp door to put your rig inside here, or you can elevate it and suspend it by cables for your outdoor party ramp, or party deck, excuse me. Another thing we're going to find in the rear garage area here is going to be another half bath. So you've got a bath and a half in this rig. You have a full bath in the master bedroom and half bath in the garage area. So in the bedroom here you'll see we've got a queen bed uh, and this is on a slide out so it's a walk around queen bed. Uh, you do have a little storage underneath here. 
and a little cubby there. Up front you're going to have a closet there and then you'll have a little storage up top there for kind of some soft goods, maybe sleeping bags, pillows, you know, you name it, it can go there. Let's take a look at the bathroom. As we look at the bathroom here, you're going to find a 30 by 30 shower pan here. So it's a good sized shower with very tall ceilings. You're going to find a stool there. You'll find a medicine cabinet and then a sink uh, with access into the master bedroom or into the main living area. Here right when we get inside the door, you'll find all your controls. You'll find the controls for the solar that you've got on the roof. This has got a 320 watt solar panel on the roof. So you can do a lot of dry camping if you wanted to. Uh, you're going to have your tank monitors here. You're going to have the light switches. You've got the slide out controls. You've got your uh, own-in remote switch that you can turn your generator on from the inside the rig here. I wanted to thank you for watching the video here on the 2023 Alliance Valor 31T13. My name is Eddie and I'm with Hilltop Camper and RV. Let me know if you've got any questions.